Hey guys, Steve from Tech Toy Tinker here. Um, I'm just working on a new build right now. Um, this is the Retro Arena RC 2.5 as well. But unlike the last video, this one is built on Ubuntu. I backported the kernel and the U-boot from 20 here into uh, Ubuntu 19. And ported RC 2.4 Ubuntu forward to 2.5. So now there's Arch Linux and there's Ubuntu. Um, this works pretty much exactly the same as the previous version. The reason why people wanted it so much is because it's got this here. Built-in Wi-Fi menu. Uh, this is here the... Uh, oh, do I go advanced? See the L2R2 clicky clicky. Notice there's no Wi-Fi thingy in here. Or no, uh, nothing in the USB slot. But... Oops. Didn't mean to click that, but whatever. Anyways, as you can see, there's all the Wi-Fi networks. So this is fully working in terms of L2R2 and the onboard Wi-Fi stuffs. Uh, DS also has been set up to work with the new Odroid Go Advanced now as well. The only thing is, you need to switch the configuration file, depending on which model of Odroid Go Advanced you're using. But it's literally just one file that you drag and drop in, and I've provided it in the uh, Mega, along with the image. It, out of the box, it'll work on Model 1 OGA, but if you want it to, for the new one, you have to swap the config out. I don't remember what button it is. It's clearly not that screen. I don't know what button it is. I'll pick a different game because I don't know which one that is. Or how to work that, I should say. Mm, let's go for that. This is still the global hotkey, by the way. Anyway, you get the point. Um, all the other emulators still work exactly as they did. Um, there's nothing really too major in terms of changes to report other than the obvious new hardware being supported. Still got RetroArch in here, which is part of Retro Roller. However, the developer behind Retro Roller has actually moved on to the Arch Linux build, so from here on and any changes that are made to the underlying recharge and stuff in here will be just done by me. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, also, um, currently the only issue that I have found right now with this image is that for some reason the auto-expand on first boot script isn't working. So basically what you need to do is when you put the image on an SD card, you use, um, like gparted ISO in a virtual machine or plug it into a Linux machine and just use the console gparted or whatever and you have to use your computer to expand the partition uh, other than that though, everything works exactly as normal um, oh, let's see one other thing I gotta explain to you guys while I got you here this image does work in the Model 1 OGA but there's something you gotta do. And I'll show you. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. 
right, so as you can see, Ubuntu 19. Uh, this does have the Wi Fi stick, it will, yeah, see, it turns on automatically. Uh, so it, it works on both for internet and everything. However, the thing here, you see how I'm pressing right and left to go up and down? Right, that's because obviously the configuration is wrong because it's, the buttons are different than the OG. So you want to go here, and you want to press to the right, configure input, and then you, you want to configure your input, right? You press yes, and then you can hold the button down and you can reset up the input for Model 1. And uh, you can also do that with RetroArch as well. You go into RetroArch, and the same thing applies. You just change the configuration. It's Exactly like the ES one, so it just tells you press this button, press this button. Very easy to do. It'll take you all of a minute and a half, maybe, to do RetroArch and this. And uh, other than that, that's about it. Um, swapping the drastic config and doing this config here, and that's pretty much all you got to do to go back and forth. I'll keep you guys updated when the resize script works, but for now you can just use Gparted or whatever method you choose on the PC to expand the partition. Um, this is literally exactly the same as RC 2.4. Ubuntu is just ported to the new device, so you can expect the same stability, all the same emulators work. It works pretty much in the exact same manner as the previous build. Um, it's very stable in terms in that aspect because it's the hard kernel base image. Um, other than that, yeah. Enjoy. Thank you for watching as always. Be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button and press the like button. And thank you for watching. Take care.